But first, it is opening day. Let's get you up to speed on some of the more interesting moves of the offseason. A lot happened beyond Shohei Otani. Let's do some digging in. But let's stay with the Dodgers. The Otani contract is so huge, even with the bulk of it deferred, it took attention away from the largest contract in the history of the sport for a pitcher. Yoshinobu Yamamoto looks like a sure thing. Three-time MVP in Japanese baseball. Man who had an eye-opening stuff in the WBC against major leaguers last year. But that's a 12-year commitment. Not nine, not 10, 12, 27 million a year. And one start in, it can't feel great. It's one start. And his first with the new baseball. It was in South Korea. It was a bit early in the season. But right now, it can't feel so great. And the Dodgers' mammoth moves also cast a shadow over some fairly large moves by that man, Dave Dombrowski in Philadelphia. The Phillies' window is wide open. Bryce Harper in his prime. Trey Turner settled in. Dombrowski brought back Aaron Nola, extended Zach Wheeler. Nola was a free agent. Wheeler was going into his contract year. They have both of them now locked up for the next four years. Do I love signing pitchers in their 30s? No. But starting pitching is very thin these days. And these two are capable of throwing 190 innings a year. If you're in the NL East, Nola and Wheeler getting locked up is bad news for you. Dombrowski is an elite executive. He quietly spent big money to buy quality innings. They're a contender. Speaking of the NL East, the Mets made the major executive sweep move of the offseason, signing former Brewers GM David Stearns. It'll be a fascinating watch. Stearns had fiscal discipline in Milwaukee. He had to in New York City. His challenge will be to avoid the temptations of the big city wallet. Famed boxing trainer Customato said, your greatest strength is your greatest weakness. The Mets' greatest strength is their spending power. Their greatest weakness? Yep, last year they got greedy and paid the price for trying to force things through. Check this out, the Mets, a year later, still have the number one payroll in the game. Number one. By the way, 65 million of that 339 million is being paid to guys not playing for them. Dead Mets money. So here's the top five right now in baseball. You see them up here. So essentially, the Mets, even with that, look, they have a payroll of over 330 million. And what is projected to be a 500 team, 81 wins, if you look at the projected wins for fan grass. The other big teams that are right there with them, much higher projections. So going all in always sounds good. It's so aggressive. There's a price to be paid, and all debts get paid. Stearns hasn't been able to thread the needle so far. Small moves here and there. Let's see if he can stay on his established, proven path. Let's stay in New York. It happened back in November, but the Juan Soto trade is a shot of adrenaline for a club that needs it. The Yankees, for all their big budget star power, were not a dynamic offense last year. He was wrong for the Padres that did not work out, but he should be an excellent rental in the Bronx. As far as re-signing him long term, if you watch this show, you know my advice on that. And finally, I don't think enough is being said about the late surge for the San Francisco Giants. They might all be one-year deals, but both players got opt-outs, right? Blake Snell, though, was fantastic last year for the Padres. I understand the trepidation for clubs doing out you know, long-term deals given mercurial performance, but one or two years, Snell's an elite pitcher. Second-best strikeout rate in the game last year, all-around top-flight stuff. And Matt Chapman is also a great signing. As long as you don't have unrealistic expectations for his hitting, you will be a much better club with Chapman at third base. He's an elite fielder, a good base runner, and is one of those high-level professionals that make a team better. The Giants should be battling for a wild-card spot in the National League. The odds of them grabbing one got much better for them in the month of March.